While the rest of us are helping Sir Nunos after Haim almost killed him. I really thought you could fly. Well, I couldn't. Geralt wanders off towards the kitchen, dragging Esmeralda with him. Shouldn't we stay with the others? Screw that. I need a drink. As they go through the kitchen, they find a room at the end filled with wine barrels that are unfortunately all empty. Crap. Just as Geralt's about to give up, he notices a chest in the room, and when he opens it, out pops some black pudding. The hell? Geralt attacks it with a fireball, and it gets bigger. He kicks it, and his shoe dissolves. Then, Esmeralda slashes it with her sword, and it splits into two puddings. And after that, they just started running towards the group. Sir Nunos, do you want to kill Haim? He might be a danger to the group. No. I'm just saying, we did it with Sable. There's nothing wrong with cutting off the fat. We are not killing another member of the group. You say that now, but circumstances change. Guys, I was looking for booze, and now Pudding is trying to kill us, and it's immune to fire, and whatever you do, don't slash it. Oh, for the love of... Garen uses Cone of Cold to try and freeze them in place. They get bigger. Cinder attacks one of the puddings with Acid Splash. It gets bigger. Cinder tries Lightning Sphere, and that splits them into more pudding. Geralt, your alcoholism has doomed us all. Look, I like to drink. You like to kill people. We all have flaws. Sir Nunos and Haim start attacking them with radiant damage, the one type of damage other than bludgeoning that can actually affect them, so we can kill them. The hell was that? Black pudding. We actually had a harder time killing that pudding than we did killing Strahd. Technically, you didn't really kill him. You know what I mean. We continue on throughout Strahd's castle, taking various twists and turns. You know what? Forget what I said earlier about living in this castle. This place is such a maze, I don't want to live here. What kind of architect even designed this place? I would need a map just to get from my bedroom to my kitchen. After we save Barovia, I'll just take Valaki. I'm getting Valaki. You wanted the castle. I want the castle and Valaki. You can have Kresik and the Abbey with the mongrel folk. I don't want that. I'll take it. Eventually, we find this weird statue with a fire that we decide not to mess with, and then we meet a man being held prisoner. We let him out, and he says the statue is a teleporter and uses it to vanish. That's definitely a trap. Oh, absolutely. Past the statue is a cliff that leads down into some gross sludge. Ew, I'm not touching that. Cinder and Esmeralda stay at the ledge to take a short rest while Haim and Garen fly down the others. There isn't much down there except for some piles of gold beneath the sludge that, well... Sir Nunos, I want you to force me under the water and not let me up for air until I grab some gold. Okay. Yeah. That happened. So, Esmeralda, how old were you when you first started killing people? I was pretty young. You know, family business and all that. Do you hear something? After fighting some skeleton monsters, we mark this area off as a dead end and go back to searching the rest of the castle, which pretty much amounts to this. We find a weird sword. Ow, it burns when I hold it. Let me see. Ouch! What are you guys talking about? It's fine that turns out to damage anyone with an evil alignment. Later, we find a girl in the bathtub. Oh, crap! Who tries to kill us? We meet Strahd's side hoe. Oh, he's just a wonderful man, and we're all so deeply in love. Creepy. We fight some witches who were disguising themselves as stools for some reason and climb down a ladder and then meet a vampire chilling in his bedroom who seems pretty confused that we came in through his attic. We lie about being guests of Strahd and keep going, heading up some stairs and destroying a weird crystal heart chandelier thing or whatever. Yeah, we never really figured out what that was for. We just destroyed it. 
At the top of the tower, we find a note instructing us to play a song, so we jam for a bit, and a little jester ghost shows up. I'm Piddlewick! Oh my god, who names their child Piddlewick? His parents must have hated him. I liked your song, so I'll let you know there is a gift for me in my coffin! Well, that was freaking cryptic as hell. We decide there's nothing else to explore and double down back to the statue. The statue has several different colored stones on it and an inscription that reads as such. Cast a stone into the fire. Violet leads to the mountain spire. Orange to the castle's peak. Red if lore is what you seek. Green to where the coffins hide. Indigo to the master's bride. Blue to the ancient magic's womb. Yellow to the master's tomb. Well, the Master's Bride must mean Irina, and she's dead. The Master Tome must be where Strahd is. But Piddlewick mentioned a gift in his coffin. So let's check where the coffins hide. We throw in a green stone. And end up in the basement of the coffin shop, all the way back in Valaki. What the hell? How did we end up back here? Crap, we must have answered the puzzle wrong. You guys are idiots. Really, Esmeralda? Because I didn't see you trying to stop us. We don't have time for this. You're just as stupid as the rest of us, and don't you forget it. Look, let's just rest here for the night and go back to the castle in the morning. Fine, but your mistake costs us dearly. It will be much harder to get back into the castle than it was before. Two of us can fly. I doubt it will be that hard. God, I never thought I would meet someone annoying enough to make me miss the days we were babysitting Irina.